Manning. I work for HighSpots.com. Uh, I just got back from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Excuse me, Calgary. Dramatic pause. <laughs> Alberta, da, da, da. Canada. And I was there for about three or four days filming some interviews for the Down My Kid project that, that thankfully all of you people contributed to uh, in Kickstarter, so I thank you for that. Your money is being well spent. Uh, we were able to collect some wonderful interviews with three of the hearts. Actually, I'm, we're getting another one of the hearts filmed here tonight at a different show. Um, of course, after Calgary came into New Jersey and picked up some more interviews. Um, but, you know, I think probably the biggest thing about Calgary is I was able to break into most Calgary wrestling uh, landmarks like uh, the Hart House. So Donald Mike would probably be very proud of that, very, th given how underhanded he is. He was admittedly in his book. Oh, I, I think so. I think he, he, there's probably a little smile on his face when I tell him that when I saw the no trespassing sign, I ran right past it. Right. Um, and then, so, of course, oh, go ahead. So, like, where did you break into? And, like, were, were you in fear of the Mounties the entire time? <laughs> Are like you expecting well, Jacques Rougeau with a shock stick? No, 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 no. He's French Canadian, which I found out and learned that you know maybe part of the problem with uh, Dynamite Kid and uh, the Mountie is because he's French Canadian. French don't get along with English. Right. So, uh, but anyways, we actually went down at the Stampede grounds and we snuck into the pavilion. Now, all of you who've seen Stampede wrestling tapes and you saw the television shows that originated out of the pavilion, and I was able to sneak right in. The door happened to be unlocked. Happen to just happened to be unlocked. Just happened to be unlocked. Sneaked right in. Got some wonderful footage of just B-roll footage of looking around this historic wrestling building. And did the same for the crowd, which is where they Which ran. also just happened to be unlocked. Yes, which also happened. Well, they were unloading and loading stuff. I look, I look like a, a, a workman. Kind of like a teamster, I guess. Or whatever. Do they have teamsters in Canada? I was just going to say, I don't know what they have. But uh, looked like a union employee that snuck in. Uh, got some wonderful footage, probably very similar to like the Heroes of World Class going inside the, this auditorium. Very similar type footage to get a sense of where these guys wrestled. And it amazed me how small the, the buildings were and such great wrestling originated from there. I so, mean, you know what, let me ask you this. You've been inside the ECW arena and yes. you've, been, you've, all, you know, you've been in a lot of independent venues. Looking at that building and how, how famous it is, is it like, you know, do you compare it to the arena where when people walked up to it for the first time, they were like, what is this dump? It, was it similar when you look? Absolutely. So let me ask you this, as an independent wrestler and as someone who's working on this film, why are so many great wrestling buildings just absolute pieces of dumpy trash? You know, wrestling has such a connotation around it that it's almost like it's hard for a landlord to take a chance on us because we're a ragtag group. We get some of the weirdest people to come see our shows, but some of the best people in the world, and they'll show up no matter what the building looks like. And as I think that's the thing, and I, I think like fans, they wear that like a badge of honor. Like people who went to the ECW arena, they wear that with a badge of honor. And I and it really feels like people in Calgary is much of the same that they feel very proud of the Hearts and Stampede Wrestling, which. I had to drop the Hearts name during going through customs and got me right through. So that, that city is still very proud of that. So basically, family. if you travel to the Calgary, say you know the Hart family, yeah, and you're like in like Flynn. Especially, especially Ross, because Ross uh, knows one of the customs agents uh, from his theater group. So he's so, like the unofficial mayor of Calgary is Ross Hart. Yes. Just drop Ross Hart's name, and you'll get into customs, no problem. Scouts are. Right. So obviously, we don't want to spoil too much about the documentary, but for yourself... What what you know? What have been the highlights when it comes to the interviews? Was it going to Manchester and talking to Kid? Was it going to Calgary? Like just from a personal note, at this point in in the process, how uh, what was your favorite part of the trip and favorite part of the process? You know, meeting Dynamite Kid is fantastic. And that itself, it, you can't put a price tag on that. But I think where the whole documentary has kind of kicked it up a notch is interviewing his daughter. I think that takes this from just a wrestling documentary to a, a documentary about a human being. And the stuff that we capture on film with her is beyond priceless. And I think that that will make this entire documentary give a sense of the individual we are trying to portray. Now, I know you, you guys have a, a set date that you want to release this at the, or are you still uh, working on it and as the process goes, you'll announce the release date. Well, we do have that screening in Manchester. I, I'm a little bit off on the dates right now because it, it was one date and it just got moved, I believe, towards the end of February. So that means i got to get it off to the, the disc duplicator at the very beginning of February. No ifs, ands, or buts. I'm already selling tickets for it, so 
Uh, so so I, time's running out for you. Yes. Uh, I don't know when this is going to air, but I will not be with my family at Christmas time if you're watching this at Christmas time because uh, my parents wanted to spend a week with me. I had to tell them no because I can't be out of the office for, for more than a day. Sorry, Mom. we got to cancel Christmas. I'm directing a movie. Pretty much. That's pretty <laughs> much uh, what I had to say. The sacrifices one makes for pro wrestling. Well, I mean, Donna, my kid made some sacrifices, and I feel like a project that, that betrays him should be given the same type of respect and sacrifice. Awesome. Well, Jake, I want to thank you for your time, and uh, I'm sure I'll have more about the Dynamite Kid, bo uh, not book, excuse me, film in upcoming weeks and dates here on PWInsider.com. So thank you, sir. Well, thank you. And, of course, Jake works, of course, for HighSpots.com.